Hi ladies, so I'm coming to you live from my bathroom, but today I wanted to um, share with you how I take care of my skin, the skin on my face. Um, this is one way that I use, um, and it's it generally or basically it's called the you know the oil cleansing method, um, and so I like to kind of do this every. I mean I do this every day. Um, this isn't just like a treatment that I do. I actually. I don't put soap on my face. Um, you're probably familiar with the idea that soap strips, you know, the, the body, whether it's the scalp or the face or the, um, your body from its natural oils um, and then causes over oil production. So sometimes we think that, you know, oil um, causes more oil to be, you know, if you're putting oil on your face, it's going to make your face oily. But actually, um, if you're using really high quality um, plant-based oils, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to add things like omegas and all the vitamins and the minerals um, and add elasticity while cleaning out your face. Um, and the way that I do this with a washcloth, it's also going to exfoliate. So I don't have breakouts. Um, maybe I'll get a blemish around, you know, my cycle during the month. But, um, you know, this makes me feel really amazing. It makes my skin glow. It makes it really get that dewy kind of um, soft look. And it's also just a really nice little ritual. So it doesn't take long. It can take, you know, a minute or two if you want to do a quick method. It could also take a little bit longer if you wanted to, you know, place the um, hot washcloth on your face and really let that skin soften up. Um, and that feels really lovely. And to me, that's a self-care, you know, body ritual that I like to do. So I've got a, a wet washcloth that I've already um, gotten really wet here. And I've also got a little basin of hot water. Um, and so I just wring it out. One of my favorite things to do is to also add um, a little drop of, of my favorite, you know, essential oil, which is lavender in this case. I don't always do that. If I have an extra minute, I will put that on the washcloth. And then I just take it and I place it right over my face and I let it sit. I breathe in deeply. I really, you know, I take a minute to think about what I'm doing to feel my body and to feel the air going into my body and to really um, be grateful for, for a healthy, strong body and to be mindful of what I'm doing. Um, I'm nurturing and loving my skin. So I'm going to just press on a little bit, really let the warmth um, from the hot water kind of open up my pores and, and soften my skin. So I might do that two or three times depending on how much time I have and how it feels so good. So typically I'm like, oh, just one more hot rinse and I, and I put it right back on my face and I just, I really enjoy that process. So you're just taking a, a washcloth and hot water, wringing it out. So this is, um, this is seed buckthorn oil. Um, there's other oils in it. It's got jojoba oil and, um, you know, like rosehip oil, a lot of amazing high quality oils. I get this from a company called Living Libations and I really love their stuff. Um, it's handcrafted. This woman, Nadine Artemis, she um, and her husband live in Maine and they they put a lot of love and a lot of energy into their products. Um, and so this is an investment. I've had this bottle since Christmas and it's only half gone. So, and I use it every day. So it's, it's definitely one of those things that a little bit goes a long way. So I take um, one pump maybe two depending and then I just take a little bit on there and I my washcloth is wet and so that's key too you want to make sure that your skin is is damp still and I just start circulating and going in on spots on my face um, the oil tends to you know accumulate on my nose here and the and the creases and my chin and so I like to really get all of that in there and I, you know, I like to do this because it's exfoliating. I go along my jawline, you can do your neck, um, and then, you know, work your way around your face. You want to go up under your forehead, and I even lightly go over my eyes and under my eyes. Do it a lot gentler on your eyes. The skin around your eyes is so delicate. You get some on your nose there, really kind of dig in there and, um, you know, You've got a washcloth and you've got some really lovely oil so that's really gliding and helping it you know not to feel like it's too abrasive but it really does take away a lot of um, the layers of, of skin that have been accumulating and so I just do that for as long as I have and that's it then I will rinse my washcloth out um, so now my skin um, is cleansed 
And then I usually follow up, this is um, called Rose Glow Serum. So this has also got jojoba, rose auto, geranium oil, um, a lot of different high quality oils. And this one I use um, just for a moisturizer. So I just take a tiny little bit, like literally, you know, a drop on my finger. You can barely even see it. I'm going and just kind of cover it all. I mean, your face is gonna feel already like it's moisturized um, because you cleansed it with oil. So it's not gonna feel dry and you're not gonna get that feeling. Um, you know, sometimes I think we're really used to feeling th that really like um, dry kind of feeling, whether it's in our hair, like it's stripped all of the oils and that's what tells us it's clean, but um, sure it's clean, but it's not healthy. And so your face should never be completely stripped of its oils. You know, if you see these women that, you know, have this amazing, vibrant skin um, all throughout their lifetime, and it's typically because they're eating foods that are high in fat and they're taking care of their body through the foods they're eating, but they're also using a lot of oil on their face. So I, I really want to encourage you to think about, um, you know, getting into oils for cleansing your body. You know, this one body or this one bottle, um, you, know, you can use it on your whole body. It's not something that's just for the face, neither one of these are, and that's why I like having them. So this is a really simple thing that I do, um, a way that I take care of my body. I don't put a lot of things on my face. I don't wear sunscreen for the most part um, because I also feel like the foods that I eat protect me um, from that. So if you have questions about um, you know, how to find these products or if you wanna you know, go to the co-op or Whole Foods and find some um, you know, high quality oils there, I would you know, suggest argan oil, rosehip oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil. You know, all of those could be used in place of this cleanser um, a little bit. You know, use it on your exfoliating um, cloth and then follow up with, with the lovely smelling oil and that leaves it feeling, you just feel it rejuvenated, I feel, as how I, you know, afterwards, I, I feel like I've taken the time to love my skin and I, I know that my skin looks glowing and it feels great afterwards. So um, I hope that that was some good information for you and let me know if you have any questions.